No one home, or? Yeah, just enter someone's house. I'm sure this will end very well for me. We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know it probably wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? Uh... Well, some of the elements match the M.O. of a psycho. It just sounds you know, like a crazy guy. Blood everywhere, let himself be seen by witnesses. Like and one of those people who get off from address. murdering people. You know, these guys hear God's voice telling them to kill somebody. That would explain the non-premeditated part. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? Yo, sick glasses, my guy. We don't have enough information to determine that right now. We might do it again tomorrow, or we might never hear from him again. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. So, what's the plan now? Check the local hospitals to see if they've had any men with knife wounds. You see that guy crouching Check in the back? Check with all the psycho <laughs> wards to see if they've got any ex-patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay, anything else? Yeah, the book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. He's a... Okay, I'll get all that stuff uh, right away. He's a satanist. What are you gonna work That's gonna There's say. something that I need to verify. <laughs> Alright, what are we verifying? He claims he's possessed as or something like that. As far back as I can remember, mm -hmm. I've been frightened by small spaces. She has claustrophobia. Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I start to panic. Oh. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Yeah, you've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I had decided not to let my fear control me. That's I right. to try and fight it. Good Every for you, I Carla. Go. I'm going to stay calm. We're okay. Everything is going to be We're fine. good. I'm going to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find the computer terminal. It's good. Come on, Carla. We're, we're okay. We just got to get the thing, get out, and then that's it. That's all we got to do. Okay, uh, the L button and the R button alternates the Carla's- the Carla to breathe! I gotta make her breathe?! Keep the point- oh my god! There's a gauge! Yo, David Cage really yeah. making this realistic- oh no. I'm oh, what out. happened? I can't breathe. <laughs> Did I not do it right? <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Why didn't she ask Tyler better. for help? I can control my fear. You know what I mean? Like, if I were her, I'd be, I would tell my partner, be like, hey, I'm I'm having trouble, can you just go and get it for me, and then, like, I'll meet you upstairs? That's what I would do. I don't know. It's not, it's not a bad thing to ask for help. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 oh. How do I make it? No! No, 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 no. There we go, there we go, we got it. What is this, Indiana Jones? I can't take it. It's just too much for me. I didn't even have a chance to make her, like, breathe or not. <laughs> God damn I feel- I have to- I'm, Tyler, get over here! God damn it. Paige, thank you for the- press X to breathe and try go to blink. Yo, Tyler, where are you? God damn it. Okay, let me try again before I actually, like, make Carla super depressed. Okay, okay. What the? I don't understand this. Okay, 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 okay. This is like the weirdest mechanic I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? Why is there so many boxes here? Okay, Carla, remain calm. It's okay. We're okay. We made it. Hey, look, look, look. We're here. Here's the archive terminal. Jesus. <laughs> I can consult the file here. The save files are classified by year. The Kirsten file should be in the 1990s. It shouldn't be too hard to find. God, I hope not. Oh, God damn it. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, I just gotta watch her breathing. 
This is a weird Beautiful mechanic. starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Please tell me this is the right one. I don't want to do that. Power to the terminal. I guess oh there must god. be a switch box somewhere. Oh my god! <laughs> Who operates this place? You don't keep power on? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where's the thing? Shit. This is so stupid. Can I not move it? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh my god, she's gonna have a panic attack! I have to keep her breathing! Uh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus, David Cage, why did you think this was a good mechanic to have in your game? Holy crap. <laughs> oh my good, Alex, thank you. My computer is still having a seizure and I managed to get bits. PS, I owe you 10 brains. <laughs> yeah, I do owe you 10 brain cells. So this ain't it, huh? God damn it. Okay, 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 we're okay. Is there any other tape I can get from here? No, right? 1990? Holy shit, how many is there? Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out. Not because Carla's freaking out, but the fact that she's gonna have a panic attack before I actually find the damn thing. Okay, okay. God, I should have asked Tyler. You're the file starting with K. Oh god, fuck. The electricity's cut. I just need to stay calm. Is I'm there a ghost? Control my fear. Mm, nothing on Kirsten. Must not be the right disc. <gasps> no! No! Are you serious? Okay, let's try this one. Can I move it? I can't move it, right? It's probably gonna tell me, nope, you can't move it, you gotta move the other one. I didn't mean to press that, I meant to turn around. Yo, this entire thing, this is like next level. I think the the, the worst thing is don't move or I'll shoot and this is second. <laughs> this is absolutely second. Holy crap. Can I not move anything here? I have to move- I have to reset everything. God damn it. This is horrible. Okay, hang on, hang on. Can't go through that way. Welcome back, Quinn. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything! Just... Oh, this bullshit. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, this is not real. <laughs> this is not real. I have to turn back and do this again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, sweet. The power went out again. It's starting. My hands. No, no, no. Carlo, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I'm having trouble breathing. I've just got to stay calm. You're good. You're good. Can't you're doing good. Let the fear get out of control. Okay, now we can uh, make it back here. Please tell me I can. If I if this doesn't move, I'm gonna be so pissed. <sighs> Thank you. The dramatic music does not help either. Here the file starting it's better be it. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. If this ain't it, I'm gonna be mad. I 
think I found it. Oh my god! <sighs> Jesus! The file is empty. No report, no evidence, nothing. Wait. There's the name of the detective in charge of the investigation. Robert Mitchell. Gotta talk to that guy. Oh my god, it's over! That was absolutely horrible. <laughs> Carla asked me to see what I could find out about the book we found in the diner. It might be able to tell us something about the Why? killer. I inquired in the office Why and I ended up in a bookshop I... Laura, thank you so much. Also, welcome. Welcome. Kale. Thank you for the follow. Hang on a second. Um, can I ask why there's like Chinese letters on here? Is this- if this- if this turns into something racist, I'm gonna get really pissed because David Cage has done that before. <laughs> As in his, especially in his older games, his, this is his first game. He has no filter. So like, if this turns racist, David Cage, don't do this to me. Please don't. Hello? Yo. Um. Excuse me? Sir? <clears throat> oh, oh, I am sorry to cause a wedding on you. Your presence here bring honor to my miserable shop. <laughs> David can just do that? <laughs> he just, did he just put some racist stereotypes in his game? Because this man's Asian, you gotta make him talk like that. <laughs> Oh my god, Luminous, thank you so much for the follow, but why? Dude, why? He got better, I'll admit that. He got better. He stopped doing these stereotypes, but man, since this was his first game, he did not hold back. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, my name is Takyo. Uh, tell me what I can do to make you happy. Damn. This guy looks just like that old Chinese dude in Gremlins. Uh, <laughs> he offers me a little box with a monster in it, I am gone. Why? Um... I was digging around in my closet and I found this old book. Thought it might be worth something. Ah, I'm happy. I am but the washless well of ignorance. My tiny expertise extend wholly to books I serve. Is this what people think Asian people act like? I'm Asian, we don't act like this. <laughs> well, actually, I'm a detective with the NYPD. You, immigration? You come like my ketchup? <laughs> my small family is legal. You verify it. No problem. What the okay, fuck? Okay, calm down. I'm not hey, here Alex. to bust you. Yes, oh you my one, god. You go now. This private property. Yeah, great strategy, Tyler. Nice work. <laughs> Can you just take a look at it? You must have seen books like this one before. Oh my god. Ah, many times, yes. I very sad to say, no can be helping you. What the? Oh my god, why? Thanks anyway. At okay. Least I tried. Great. Alright, thanks. I need to leave. Oh my god. Tyler, let's get the fuck out of here, please! Ah, uh, maybe there is something I can do for you. Is it? You can or you can't? Which is it? One client order very rare book. Since this morning, I look for it, but impossible to find. You find this book, and I tell you all you want to know. Oh my god. <laughs> so, what does it look like, this book you want? Ah, easy. It is it a stereotypical, is like, Chinese I'm guy in the middle of nowhere in a fucking one. bookstore. Okay. This is so Not bad. To handle that. Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. No, this ain't oh, it! Man. I just want him to what look at I, the book! Video game? Why do they have to make it like this? Yo, what the hell is this? Are you freaking kidding me right now? I gotta give him this all this bullshit and he'll be like, yeah, I saw look at the book. No, no, no. <laughs> this ain't happening. 
<laughs> this ain't happening. <laughs> Wait, what what did I do? Yo, do I have to scan every single page? What the heck? Whoa. Hey, Alex, thank you for the bit. This ain't it, Chief. Nope, nope, it really isn't. There's something handwritten in pencil here. To my brother for his 18th birthday, MK. Hmm, interesting. What type of game is this? First live, by the way, first uh, video watch in a while. Hey, Lucy, welcome back. Also, um, this is a choose-your-own-adventure kind of game. A torn piece of paper. Hey. Looks like a computer printout of a bunch of numbers. Fell out of the book. That's from his job. Must have been a bookmark. You were dumb for I'll leaving that in, else. Lucas. We're, I don't know what we're looking for. The old man says he won't help us unless we, like, look for, like, a certain book or some crap like that. Can I just leave? I want to leave. I don't want to look at anything. You know what I mean? I don't want to look at nothing. Let's just get out of here. Can I leave? I already got the page, got the clue. Goodbye. I'm leaving. Now I could go back to the office. No, no, but no. Maybe Takeo could have told me a little more. No, I don't. I no. I'm leaving. That's it. I can't t stand this game. No, <laughs> we're leaving. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Uh, who do you guys want to play as? Lucas, Carla, or Tyler? Carla? Alright, we're going with Carla. Hopefully she doesn't have another panic attack. Oh, she's at she's at the shooting range. Training Sergeant Mitchell? That's him in the second to last row. Thanks. Second to last. Okay, thank you. You all look the same, but alright. Hello? Sergeant Mitchell? Yes. Is that how I you hold a gun? I don't think so. <laughs> Would you mind if I asked you a few questions concerning one of my investigations? Young lady, I haven't worked in investigations for a long time. I doubt I can be much help. It's concerning an old case, but I'm still looking into it. The Kirsten case? That's a weird thing to say. Because you can't locate the file, is that right? Yes, that's right. The file's been classified. How'd you like to do some target practice with me? Sure. Why not? Uh, okay. Sure. Your gun is right in front of you. Go ahead. No, you don't say. <laughs> okay, R button to shoot. Okay. How do I... Did I do it? Yo, these controls are freaking weird! Oh my god! I missed. Uh, 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 uh. I missed again! That's a person. Oh, I have no more. Can I. How do I reload? How do I reload? Are you serious? I don't. I, I can't reload. I can't reload. <laughs> There's no button for me to reload. <laughs> this game is pretty old. It's actually the way really you old. shoot. You really should come back for some more training. Did you just insult so, what do you me, sir? Know about the Kirsten case. Well, for instance, what exactly happened? A guy named Kirsten's calmly shopping in his local supermarket. He's in the kitchen accessories aisle when someone picks up a knife and stabs him to death. What do you know about the victim? Nothing unusual in his past. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Any other interesting elements in the case? Ah, one more detail. The killer then used the knife to carve some symbols on his own forearms. Very weird stuff. It looked like a, a snake or a serpent. It's a silver snake. Maybe he just snake. cracked. Lost it Voldemort. For <laughs> some people are like time bombs just waiting to go off. That's the first theory I had. Until I saw the coroner's report. Each knife entry cut cleanly into an artery, leading to the heart with perfect accuracy. Precision like that, I mean, the guy had a one in a million chance of doing that. Even if he'd been a surgeon.
Oh my god, I'm going back in. No! Don't make me shoot. I don't know how to reload. I pressed everything. It wouldn't let me reload, so I don't know. I guess I'll just go on with it, I guess. I missed. This is like hard to aim. I can't reload. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's right trigger. Oh, that's right trigger. Hmm. That's a really weird uh, button for a reload. How long do I have to do this for, sir? Oh, shit. timer run out and then I can like continue but at the same time it's just like that guy's gonna make Carla really depressed shit <laughs> I'll just I recommend it. that you come back for stop some insulting me the way you shoot you're likely to hurt someone out there oh my god um you didn't stop your investigation there did you no this case really intrigued me what could have motivated him to do something like that i mean i checked out piles of leads and, and discovered almost by accident that this wasn't the first there had been other killings with the same profile you mean where the killer had the same bizarre mo and stuck around afterwards exactly three weeks earlier on the other side of town Another stabbing victim in the middle of the street, no motive. Then I discovered a third case, two months prior to that. Then another, and another, and always this guy the didn't same stop. MO. Or whoever it was. You mean to say the killings are all connected? No idea. All I know is that the murders were basically identical. He slices the arteries leading to the heart, slices them cleanly, and then carves a symbol on his own arms. And your investigation into the supermarket killing. Did it lead anywhere? You should drop this one, Detective. This is not just a murder case. There's something very odd going on behind the Why scenes. Why would a police officer Looks like say I'll be that? starting a new file. That's such a weird thing to say. I would advise you drop this, even though it's your job to figure out why people are getting murdered. Like, what? <laughs> It's really weird to say, but okay there. Oh, thank god it's over. Alright, let's go to Tyler. Sorry, Lucas. <laughs> I've worked good and hard on the investigation. Done everything oh, Carla had asked. It's their best! Now I just wanted to relax and play I gotta play people. basketball with this guy! Yeah, so sad, the little score I what is he wearing? Take... Sunglasses or goggles? Yo, nice threads, Jeffrey. Very stylish, my man. You got me totally psyched out and that <laughs> shit. Right. Okay, here's the rules. First to score 10 points wins the game and $200. That cool for you? Why you does he have wings on 2D? See that? He has like three rings. We'll see. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, God. Mm, I did a lot of mistakes on that. I still got it though. Now that was pure poetry in motion. Still got it. <laughs> he hits the lane. He drives and he scores. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's our play of the day. You owe me two hundred dollars. Yo, you d up pretty good for a white cop. <laughs> You ain't so bad yourself. You got some game. 
Look at me, I'm Jeffrey. I did some ball at college. So, as for the hundred, it's game over, man. You're a real SOB, Tyler. I know, and that's why you like me, Jeffrey. Hey, at least we didn't lose, so... Because if he lost money, I think uh, Tyler would get depressed. <laughs> so, at least he's happy. Carla's not so much. Same with Lucas. Okay, Agatha's house. Um... Is it this one? Here it is. Yeah. Hello? No one home, or...? Yeah, just enter someone's house. I'm sure this will end very well for me. It's not like I'm already a murderer already. <laughs> Is there anyone here? Hello? I'm just entering your house for, you know, without permission. Look at the thing. An old wood stove. Hmm, the coffee pot is still hot. Hmm, there's still- I, it's as if someone is still living in this home that I just entered without permission. <laughs> Let's go in here. Okay. Are those- are those crows in the cages? Why do you have so many cages? Okay, this is really weird. I'm getting out of here. The music's good. The violin's very good. Is anyone at home? Hello, anyone home? I am the tr in house intruder. Um, are you doing a seance? What's happening? Candlesticks, an old grimoire. Weird atmosphere. Creepy! Cool! Is there like a like a psychic or something? Oh my god. Um hello? <laughs> are are you Agatha? I just broke into your house. Why do you want <laughs> to talk to Agatha? I was told that she could help me. She Help talks in third person? Tell me, who on this earth doesn't need a little help? She's Okay, you don't need to do that, she's blind, you dick! One need not have <laughs> That's so rude! Why would you do that? She knew too! Be kind, young man. Push me over to my birds. Yeah, sure. It'll oh be my more god. comfortable for us to talk over there. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to act in front of a blind person. Just wave your hand in front of them. Dude. Lucas, do you know how manners? I mean, he does, and he walked into this lady's house with a unannounced, so... Yeah, he really doesn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, he, what did she say? Birds, right? These controls are absolutely... Yo, I need to turn around. Turn the lady around! I gotta go all the way around. Good grief. Take her to her, like, 10,000 birds. I don't know why she has so many. Here's your birds! The bird is such a unique animal. It can spend its entire life locked up in a cage and yet still keep on singing away. What brings you here, young man? Tell me, what is your cage like? David Cage, get it? Okay, um... I killed a man. It, it was like I was possessed. I watched it all happen, but I had no control over my actions. Sounds like a rather commonplace story to me. Don't you think that it might simply be because you've gone mad? <laughs> I had a vision of, of another man making exactly the same movements as me, and of a little girl who called out to me for help. In the cupboard, you will find a little bag of seeds. Be a good boy. Feed some to my little darlings, will you? Ah, uh, sure! I will do that, nice old lady. 
Hang on. Nope, not in there. It's the bottom one. Let's feed some birds! This is totally not weird. That's a weird looking bag. Okay. Okay, right, how do I. Here you go. Do I have to feed all your birds or just some of them? I don't like how she just she's just sitting there. <laughs> Alex, don't kill the birds again. Well, I'm not trying to. I'm just feeding them. All right, so I'll just feed. Uh, can I feed this one? No. Can I feed this one? What am I supposed to do now? Not feed them? Oh, talk to her. Have you experienced any other strange they're manifestations pros. since then? Uh, Lucas Have said you they had were any pros. odd dreams or visions? Yes. Yes, I see things as if the reality in front of me was deforming, becoming horrible. Are you able to attach anything concrete to your visions, such as a symbol or a sign, maybe a word? When I regained control of myself after the murder, this symbol had been cut into my wrist with a knife. A snake. Voldemort. Two open jaws. Oh, dear God. What? What does it mean? There's only one way for me to be sure. Please, push me into the sitting room. Oh, God damn it, lady. Okay. Um, hang on. All right, time to go, Grandma. Let's go back. All right, let's go down this hall. How did she see through the bandages? I don't freaking know. David Cage logic. I don't know. <laughs> You'll find some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Yo, lady, why is everything all over the place? Gosh. Okay, so I gotta find candles. Um. Oh, my goodness. Alright, one. Two. And three. All right, we gotta get the matches in the kitchen. There's a knife there. I would take it just in case something happens. Oh, wait, I don't need to talk to her. I need to light the candles. She doesn't want me to talk to her. Oh my god, these controls. <laughs> Why wouldn't you light them all at once? What is this guy doing? You're wasting matches. Are you kidding me? You could have just lit all of them. Oh my goodness. Perfect. We're almost ready to begin. Turn up the lights. Turn up the light. We must be Close in complete the darkness. And sit down next to me. Okay. First of all, let's close the curtains. That's a creepy mask, but all right. Yo, it got real dark. I didn't even turn off the lights yet. Where's your light switch? Is this it? Okay. We're just having fun time with Grandma! The only way to understand what has happened to you is to try to go deep into your unconscious memory. Whoever it was that forced you to commit this murder has erased himself from your memory. But 
There still must be a trace in your unconscious. I can help you to locate it. It's an exhausting ceremony, and there's always a risk involved. <laughs> I feel like this do is gonna you, get real stupid. Or do you not wish to try it? Oh, we're here already! Just do it. Yes, I do. Give me your hands. Alright, guys. This is not a ritual, it's just hanging out with grandma, okay? That's all it is. This is now, normal. Close your eyes. I want you to empty your mind and open wide the doors to your unconscious. And let me enter there. That sounds sexual, alright. All right. We're still together. Lucas, are you there? Yes, Grandma. Yes. I want you to return to the restaurant just before the events began. Evacuate all extraneous thoughts and wander freely through your memory. Yeah, I'm using it, but I don't have proper lighting at the moment. I'm getting another light. Where are you, Lucas? The diner. I'm standing outside the restaurant. I want you to enter the restaurant now. I've gone into the restaurant. <laughs> the way he's talking. What do you see? I see some customers. And I see the waitress. Can you see the table where you were sitting? I'm looking. There's a police officer. He's sitting at the oh, counter. Shit. Concentrate, Lucas. Now, walk to your table. Walk to the table. Stop looking at all the police officers and stuff. I'm standing next to my table, but it's empty. You haven't arrived and sat down there yet? Yes, I have. My meal is already on the table. I, I think this is when I murdered him. I... Stay calm, Lucas. Uh oh, shit. I want you to tell me exactly where you are. I'm... I'm in the restroom. Yeah, this guy's just and peeing. So is the other man. <laughs> What's he doing? He's urinating. He doesn't suspect anything. And you, Lucas? Where are you? I don't know. I can't see myself. He's there, there on the toilet! The toilet taking stall. a shit! Oh my god. I'm holding a knife. He doesn't see me. <laughs> Calm yourself, Lucas. This is so dumb. Keep your concentration. I I can't control my steps. I'm walking up behind the man. He doesn't see me. I don't want to. Oh. I don't want to, but I can't stop myself. I want you to re-enter the restaurant. But now it is prior to going into the toilet stall. Do you understand, Lucas? Before. What? Before she, he entered. Where are you now? I'm in the restaurant dining room again. Are you sitting at your table? Yes, I am. I can see myself. What are you doing, Lucas? I'm eating. I'm eating and reading a book. A book? Yes. Oops. Shakespeare. The Tempest. The Tempest. What else do you see? Grandma should be on the police first, right? She's getting more evidence than the actual police. Oh, I failed. It's essential that you keep your concentration. Don't yell at me, Grandma! Just empty your mind of all thoughts. Let's begin again. Oh my god. Here we go! That didn't work, so I, I actually cannot make it. As I told thee before, Whoa. I am subject to a tyrant, a sorcerer, that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. The hell? What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading, is it not? This guy yes. has a nice voice. Someone's coming toward me. 
A man. Who is it? A customer? I don't know. I think so. I can't see his face. And what does he say to you? I... I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. You must concentrate, Lucas. You need to remember. Great. It's one of my favorite books. A shame. He's wearing a hood? Read Shakespeare these days. Would you mind if I sat down for a moment? No, ah, it's kind of weird. It's just that... Okay, you're just gonna sit anyway, even though he didn't want to. sat down at my Oops. table and... Now the waitress is coming. Sir? A coffee, please. The waitress. It's as if she didn't see the man, like he was invisible. But so he brought a coffee over, right? Terrorist, especially concerning the theme of magic. And now, what's happening, Lucas? I, I don't know. The man gives off a very strange energy. It's hard to describe. Go on, Lucas. What happens after that? Jesus. Do you believe in the power of magic? No, I Harry don't. Harry Potter, I'm Listen, telling you. Um, you're wrong. You know there's much more to our universe than can be perceived by the naked eye. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, Kate. Kate? That's really weird. He knows her name? The waitress has brought him his coffee. But she's talking to me as if I was the one who ordered it. She doesn't know that he's there. She can't see him. And now what's happening? Oh my god. Listen, I don't want to be rude, but I'd rather eat alone. Yeah, can you get out of my table? Oh. What? Um, I'm paralyzed. I can't feel my body. And no one, no one can see this move. guy, right? Or they can they not see Lucas freaking out? The man, Lucas. Where is the man? He, he stood up. He's gone out. He's in my head now. He controls me. Follow the man, Lucas. Hurry. I command you to follow that man closely. Did I fail again? Oh, yeah. I lost my memory. I failed again. again. Just relax, Lucas. Your unconscious mind doesn't want to remember. It's defending itself. Oh it no! Over He's overwrought. <laughs> Begin again. Shit. Okay, I seriously gotta like focus because like He's going this out is not the rear good. door. Follow him. Your mind and his are now linked. You can see what he sees. What? Huh? What? What just happened? <laughs> you know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. I'm not sure who he You're is. You're lying! Yes, you do know who he is. Grandma, you don't lie to me! As soon as you felt the scars on my arms. What do these symbols mean, Agatha? Tell me what that man's done to me! You should go now, Lucas. There's nothing more that I can do. Then what was the point of that seance? You can at least explain what the hell's happening to me? He made me kill a man! I want to know! I need to know! I have to verify certain things. There's nothing more I can tell you today. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. Why can't you just say it now?